Bobby Smirniotis is a four-time Canadian Premier League champion and he is here with us at Tim Hortons Field. Tell me what it's like now that you guys are back in training, back on the ground and looking ahead to, again, trying to defend another trophy. One thing that always stands out to me is sixth year. Mm -hmm. You know, here we are, you know, back in 2019, this, uh, this league is, uh, is starting up um, to create something special here in Canada in the Canadian soccer landscape and just uh, Happy to still be around and uh, of course happy to have had uh, and blessed to have had some success along the way. You guys lifted that North Star Cup uh, last fall, fourth time you've won that final. Um, looking back on just these, these last five years, is there an awareness at this club of how special this is? I think sometimes when you're involved in it and, uh, and you're in it and you're doing it, maybe uh, you don't really look at it uh, that way. And, uh, Maybe years from now we'll look at it and say, you know, how, how special it is because in modern day sport and uh, in sports in North America where you have salary caps and different things, it, it, it's not a normal thing. Um, I just think it's something, uh, you know, we strive for as a club. It's something we wanted to build from the beginning, building that culture, um, building that identity and that identity comes with, uh, with winning. You know, looking toward 2024, I'd imagine obviously you guys want to be lifting that cup again, but uh, are there eyes on other, other whether specific or, or more general goals, again, what is that maybe next level that you, you want to push these guys to challenge them with? Yeah, I think one thing is it's, uh, the season needs to end with, uh, with hardware. Mm -hmm. um, we have different opportunities to do that through three competitions or three types of, uh, of trophies that are presented to us, two through the Canadian Premier League and one through the Canadian Championship. Um, Canadian Championship is something you want to add. Uh, obviously, we, we've been there, we've been very close um, to that. But most importantly, it's about how we become better as a, as a team, how we become better as a footballing team, how we, how we challenge ourselves. In terms of motivation, how, how is that done you know, year after year at this club when you, know, you do reach those heights and, and you just want to continue to stay there and, and push on to another level? Yeah, I think first and foremost, you have a, a core group of players that have been around here for, for a while, whether that's uh, some guys going into their sixth year, some guys in their, in their fourth year, um, uh, third year, and you know they understand uh, not what we ask, uh, but what it is to be a player for Forge. Mm -hmm. And I think that makes it easier when you have new players coming in. Uh, they're coming here not only uh, you know, to play, uh, to enjoy the game, but they're coming here because they have a thirst for success. You know, just one of the new players that I do want to ask about, because I know he was so good when he was here before, was Cissé. Tell me about getting him back and what it's like to have him back and just what makes him so special as a player and so good for this team. Yeah, Ali is, uh, is excellent, you know, he's part of uh, the short history of this club. You know, him wanting to make a return here as well, it's, uh, it's a perfect fit. And I think every coach wants a player like Cissé uh, in their lineup. You know, we'll try and keep him out of the goal this year, so he doesn't, uh, you know, fill every position on, on the pitch, but, but that's who he is. We have to be able to, to change things up within the squad, and he gives us an excellent ability to do that. Absolutely, Bobby, I think we'll leave it there. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ari. Appreciate it.